Okay, um, this is Lesson 3-5, Transformations, and you should have printed out the handout, and you're going to kind of do a self-exploration or an inquiry lesson and fill out the handout as you go, and I'll get you started. First of all, when you're, with your graphing calculator, you're going to need that out at the same time, and what you want to do is you want to graph this, whoa, that doesn't look very good, you want to graph this equation right here. You want to graph x squared. So let me pull up the calculator and I've got x squared. And then um, I'm going to leave that in my calculator. That's my y sub 1. And what I'm going to do is arrow down to y sub 2 and I'm going to type in the next function under part A which says vertical shift. Um, you should also have a standard window here, by the way. Zoom. 6 is your standard window. There's your parabola. Let's go back to y equals. Let's arrow down to y sub 2 and type in x squared plus 2. And now I'm going to graph that. And then I look at the graph and I ask myself, what happened? Okay, it looked like the graph shifted upwards. So I'm going to come over to my handout here, and then I'm going to write an up arrow, because it looks like the graph shifted upwards, and it shifted upwards by 2, and I can figure that out by looking at the y-intercept. Start that at 0, look at our table, and sure enough, it went up by 2. Uh, the y-intercept was 0 for x squared, and now it's 2, so it did shift up by 2. Okay. So that's how you do the first one. And then the second one, you're going to come back to y equals. You're going to always leave your parent function there. So arrow down, clear this one, and now type in the second one under vertical shift. x squared minus 2. You can probably already guess what's going to happen here. Hit graph. There's your parent function. And what happened when you had x squared minus 2? It looked like it shifted downwards. So come over to your worksheet, draw a down arrow, and then 2. So it shifted down by 2. Okay, so you're going to complete the worksheet exactly like this, always leaving your parent function um, in y sub 1, and then y sub 2, graphing the other ones and see what happens. When you get to things for part C that are shrink and stretch, you can just use those words, stretch, or you can use the word shrink. Oh, that's not how you spell shrink, uh, shrink, there we go, shrink. Um, or you could use words like wider, that's not how you spell that either. There we go. Wider. You can use words like narrower. And either of these are fine. Stretch and shrink is fine. Wider, narrower, that's also fine. When you get to part D on reflections, and you're going to find that your parabola reflects, you can just use words like reflect. But then you have to tell me what it reflected over. So it reflected over something, x-axis, y-axis, something like that. All right. Then when you get to the combining function, let's do one of those examples. All right, so in one of them I give you um, an equation. So let's do an example here where you're given f of x equals x minus 4 squared minus 1. And so you've got the minus 4 inside the parentheses, and then you're going to have to figure out, did it shift left 4, or did it shift right 4? So you're going to pick one of those, and then you've got this minus 1 on the end. So it either went up 1, or it went down 1. 
And then once you have that figured out, you're going to draw the graph without your calculator. So you're going to find the vertex, and then you're just going to sketch it. And then you might also be given this next problem, where given a function that's already been graphed, this, let's just say there's one graphed here, and I know the vertex is at negative 3, 4, so then I know that the parabola shifted to the left 3, I know it shifted up 4, I see it opens down, so then I know that the leading coefficient is negative, and for this problem we'll just assume that the leading coefficient is 2. So then you're going to make your equation f of x equals negative 2, and then you're going to have x, and then you're going to have something here, and then a plus or a minus something there. So that's how you're going to figure these out after you do the worksheet. Okay. Um, and that should take you through the whole lesson, um, and then come to class with these tomorrow, and we'll do more in class.